Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and some of you over your lifetime may have found it hard to find certain paper products, maybe more recently than uh, historically. And this is something that is uh, not lost on history and not lost on uh, coin collecting and uh, paper money collecting, specifically in the realm of paper money, where many times when there's a crisis, uh, there is not paper available to print currency. And so, especially during the Civil War, for those of you who collect banknotes, broken banknotes and other um, ephemera, things from the time period of the Civil War, what you will find is that you will have currency that has been printed over used currency sheets, or usually it'll be a remainder sheet, which is to say the sheet was already printed. A lot of the notes printed back then were printed just on one side. So what happened is the leftover paper they were able to use in an emergency situation and they were printing the notes over notes that had already been printed. And so what I'm going to show you now are a couple of different notes and we'll take a closer look. Come on. So the two notes that I have to show you are from the Bank of Augusta, Georgia and the state of Louisiana. What's fun about the Louisiana note, of course, well, lots of things. First of all, it's a $3 bill which is pretty cool. And if you look closely, we can see all the different things that they were using to convince people to use their currency. This is uh, receivable for all dues to the state and for public lands 12 months after a definitive treaty of peace between the Confederate States and the United States. 1862, the state of Louisiana, $3. Baton Rouge, got the cool beehive, um, and it is autographed here. And so uh, you can see the workmanship even back then was still pretty good. I love seeing the ink signatures. Well, we'll talk about ink signatures some other time, but sometimes they had ink signatures and sometimes they were printed. The auditor signature there and uh, a lot of uh, swirly doohickeys up in here by the three. But uh, overall, really cool note. And on the back, you can see it was printed over uh, these $5 bills. It was probably originally a sheet. And uh, they had this really, really great graphic of a Native American Indian with his, his bow ready to inflict damage on the enemy. So these are very cool. And we'll take a closer look at this uh, Bank of Augusta. Now the Bank of Augusta note is also a remainder note. That's to say that it is not signed or numbered. So typically um, you would take a note like this and they were actually hand numbered. So they were hand signed and hand numbered. This has a spot for the cashier to sign and it's not signed and also um, the number on here, I don't know if it probably would have been up here by the A block. Uh, the president of the Bank of Augusta will pay 10 cents to the bear on demand in Confederate Treasury notes when the sum of $5 is presented. So this, you had to accumulate enough of these fractional bank notes for the Bank of Augusta um, to redeem at least $5 uh, Confederate. And it's dated... Uh, uh, it was that January 1st, 1863. At first I thought it said June 1st, but uh, yeah, that is January 1, 1863. Well, you know, what's really cool about this is you, just to hold something that is actually from uh, the Civil War. I mean, really, if you collect coins and you don't collect banknotes, it's worth looking on, on eBay and just finding any Confederate-related banknote from the time period. Most of this stuff is pretty inexpensive. A lot of it will be you know, 20 bucks or, you know, that price range. And what's cool about this note, so we got George Washington on the back and this was a $4, uh, $4 bank note um, that, that these are printed on the back of. And you can see this was a remainder note also because the place for the signatures uh, would have been right here. And then this would have been for the date. You see, they have the 18 and then a blank spot. So you can see that the president would have signed right there on the dotted line. The 18 blank would have been for the date. 
So, and uh, they have some other script up here that would have been written in by hand. So there are uh, a couple of different examples. There's lots of different bank notes out there like this that are printed on two sides. Well, thanks for taking a look at those with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments down below and please subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.